What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to just show what I've been working on over the past uh, several days and just jump into it. So I didn't want to um, start training and then have to try to record a video while training because I don't know how well that would go. But right now I'm currently working on tokenizers. Um, well, not tokenizers, but training Tortoise TTS on other languages. Right now what I've um, focused in on is Japanese and so I just want to share some things that I've been doing and just go over uh, what I've done so far. I haven't gotten to the training process yet. There are a couple of things that I want to try but um, what you see right now is I am resampling the data, um, the samples from um, I believe they're at 44k hertz right now to 22050 and that is because uh, that sample rate is required for tortoise training and uh, the way that I can figure that out is if I go into my training go to the corpus here go into this train.yaml um, you can see inside of this train.yaml uh, there's a sample rate of 22050 for the sample rate so I need that um, and for this data set, I actually processed outside of the AI voice cloning repository. And that was because the AI uh, voice cloning repository had an issue with um, processing very large data sets. Uh, the issue is trying to store everything inside of this whisper.json. So what ends up happening is if you're trying to um, transcribe a super large data set, it starts getting um, exorbitantly slow because it's trying to load this uh file every time into memory and then it in tortoise it just rewrites the entire thing so this json file got as large as 16 million lines and it started just processing super slow so um, to mitigate that i just used one of my other scripts uh, modified it a little bit for uh, tortoise it was for xtts and it produces a data set um, where you can get the uh, transcription like this and so all you need are two files to train inside of tortoise and that is a train.txt and then a validation.txt and so this data set took me um, about a day and a half to transcribe um, into Japanese using whisper x uh, large v3 and so I got all this transcribed and if you're wondering how many samples of audio it is um, I'm doing 240,000 samples of audio which comes out to about 800 hours of, uh, of Japanese audio and we'll see how training goes with this and um, I have been running into large and huge issues with trying to train up or try to get a tokenizer working um, I have this BPE test I was trying to work with ChatGPT on making a um, bipair encoding uh, tokenizer for Japanese um, and using MeCab and I've had experience using MeCab in the past but for some reason, I'm not able to um, use or use Hugging Faces tokenizers for custom tokenizers correctly. So um, I was running into issues there and I don't even know if this tokenizer will work. So what I ended up doing, what I'm going to try first, and I ended up ro romanizing it. So what that means is I turned all of the Japanese kanji into um, English characters instead here. So, so let me zoom in. Sorry, I should have zoomed in earlier, but... Um, all of these are now in um, uh, Roman lettering or what is it? Uh, um, this is English. So <laughs> English lettering. So it's just got the um, it's got all of that here. And it in theory, what I'm thinking is that since it is um, Romanized like this, it should be able to use the tokenizer that's already inside of the um, towards TTS itself because if we go into the tokenizers for the um, actually this one's inside of tortoise TTS tortoise data JSON if we go into this one the one that comes with tortoise TTS um, you've got all of these in here so what I might run into issues with are these merges um, so I don't know we'll see how that ends up working out but actually now that I'm looking at this um there are I might run into some issues with the tokenizer because I am using a completely different language and since the language has different frequencies for um the combinations of words the uh, merges all of that uh I might run into some uh, issues with the language but 
what I'm going to do first is just try it with this standard tortoise one, see how that goes. Um, cause honestly, you don't know until you actually try with a lot of these, um, models. So I'm going to try this first for about 10 epochs is what I'm going to go for. Um, and see how that trains up. And if it's terrible, well then I'll look on adapting it to, uh, Japanese for this tokenizer. So, um, I think I should be able to do that without too much difficulty. The issue is just going to be time. So it's going to take a lot of time for this to train up on my GPU. Um, I honestly don't know <laughs> 800 hours. That is a lot. So I might not even be able to get past, um, one epoch. Um, it, it might take me several hours to process one epoch. I'll have to see what the uh, training time looks like after all of these process. Um, but that's what I'm going to be doing after this. And right now, what I ended up doing was just um, writing a script that can resample to um, 22050. So here is the so here's the script um, that's running right now. And uh, yeah, it's just converting everything using all of my CPU cores um, to 22050. Because um, if you try processing this on one CPU core, it's going to take forever. So you need to run it with multiprocessing uh, for FFmpeg. All right. And then so yeah, if I take a look in here, um, it's been processing for let's say about 10 minutes and I've got 16,000 samples. So. This itself is going to take a bit of time. This is probably going to take like three to four hours to um, <laughs> to sample down to uh, the correct um, hertz that I need. So yeah, I probably will make a follow up on that, but uh, didn't want to go too long without uh, talking about what I've been working on, and it's been. Um, it's been interesting so far, so we'll see. We'll see what comes out of this. Now, as far as other things, um, I did work a little bit on the AI voice cloning repository. I ended up adding CPU uh, training to that. I don't know if I made a YouTube video on it. I don't think I did. I ended up adding CPU inference, not training, to the AI voice cloning repository, along with doing a couple of fixes. Uh, so I've done some Whisper Whisper X fixes for the AI voice cloning repository, and then outside of the AI voice cloning repository, I ended up doing some RVC stuff and testing out with different voices. So I thought that was pretty cool that you can train RVC voice models and you can actually have multiple voices inside of one PyTorch file. So that I'll probably make a video on um, just sharing a little bit more in detail what the results of that was. Yeah, that's going to be uh, today's little update video. Um, I'll probably make a couple more of these in this uh, next week. Um, I will be busy all next week, so I won't probably make any content next week. Uh, at least content that I haven't pre-recorded. So that's what's going to be happening next week. And, um, but yeah, um, once again, thank you to all my members for supporting the channel. Really much appreciate it. And I will see all of you all later.